As we pledge our allegiance to our flag tonight, please keep the people serving in our armed forces all over the world in your hearts and minds. Please join the class as we pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join the class of 2022 and spend a moment in silent reflection. Thank you. Please be seated. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the graduation ceremony of the Rockport High School Class of 2022. This event is a significant milestone for each and every member of this class, and we are happy to have all of you in attendance. Thank you for being here. Special thanks to all of you who are participating in tonight's ceremony. Thank you. My name is Julia Drost, and I am the salutatorian for the class of 2022. I am so honored to be standing here before you all. When I heard that I was going to be giving a speech here today, I wanted to make it perfect. So I waited and waited for the perfect inspiration. But the next thing I knew, graduation was a few days away, and I hadn't written a word. I reached out to my fellow classmates and teachers asking for ideas. Talk about the pandemic. Avoid the pandemic. Be personal, be general, uh, cliche, cynical, dole out wisdom, don't lecture. The list went on and on, each one canceling out a previous one. And once again, I was stumped. I watched countless videos, bored to death by some and intrigued by others. And that's when it hit me. There's no one perfect graduation speech or one correct way to write it. It's all very fluid. I did, though, want to touch on some of my favorite Rockport memories. Rockport is so unique, being as small as it is. Moments and memories we make here are shared by many of us. Going back a few years, I'll never forget Project Adventure and trying to climb up the trembling telephone pole with three others, squeezing onto a pizza box-sized platform. And anyone in Mr. Larson's A-Push class last year, I'm sure remembers his incredible rendition titled The 12 Days of Remote Learning enjoyed over our phone's terrible speakers, all to sung to the tune of The 12 Days of Christmas. What school, other than Rockport, would have such dedicated teachers who truly care enough about their students to send us videos like this to make the pandemic just that much more bearable? And let me tell you, I never imagined that my last day of high school, I would be having a tea party in my AP English class followed by playing with puppets and hunting an imaginary dragon and acting, and finishing the day off with a tablecloth and candlelit lunch in the cafeteria with my friends. It's remarkable to think that I've known many of these people for 13 years, some for more and some for less, but it feels like just yesterday that I was standing on the elementary school playground, waiting anxiously to be let in for the first day of school. At the same time, it feels like an eternity when I look back on freshman year, concerned that I wouldn't be able to find my classes. It's truly baffling how time works, but one thing that I know is whether it's been an eternity or just a few days, my friends, fellow classmates have been there the whole time and I wouldn't have it any other way. And while some people would say that those are just meaningless memories, I would beg to differ those are the moments that I will remember in 20 years at our class reunion, or maybe next fall in college when I'm missing home in the community we built here. The memories that we built during our time in Rockport will travel with us. We can learn from our past and grow into the people we want to be in the future. With memories as rich as these, our time here won't fade away, but instead be a shining beacon when we look into the past. 
When I was trying to figure out exactly what to say in my speech and how to end it, I realized it all boiled down to a few overarching themes. So instead of incorporating them all into my speech traditionally, I wanted to go a bit out on a limb here and end with one of those acrostic poems you would have written in elementary school, with a word coming down and each letter matching with a descriptive saying correlating to the word. So to bring those memories back to the forefront, where the line between eternity and yesterday blurs, I wanted to end my time here in Rockport and my speech with those themes. Rockport, rich in opportunities, outstanding community, classes that will push you, kind and generous students and faculty, people you want to be around, overflowing with support, reaching for your goals and aspirations, teachers who care about you. Thank you, school committee administration, Mr. Levo, Ms. Rose, Ms. Lester, staff, faculty, parents, and so many others who took on the roles of teachers in our lives. Thank you for putting up with our classes shenanigans and allowing us to grow and make such vivid memories. And a huge thank you to the rest of the class of 2022 for making Rockport a place I'll never forget. And I can't wait to see what we'll all do in the future. Thank you. <laughs>
I'll keep this brief. We've all got places to be. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Ms. Rose said I could have 10 minutes up here before they unplug the mic on me. In all seriousness, in all seriousness though, most of these speeches are pretty dull. But not Julia's, that was actually phenomenal and probably better than whatever I've just written here. <laughs> It's shocking because I can pretty much say whatever I want, so you'd expect it to be somewhat amusing. Really, this is supposed to be like a, a, a capstone to the year. And since these past 12 months have been pretty wild, I've tried to make a speech to match that energy. I have had to sit through award ceremonies every year I've been at Rockport. Seven times I've had to watch my peers and members of the other grades be recognized for a myriad of often blandly named awards. I have two issues with this practice. The first is that the names of the awards are boring. And the second is that no teachers are ever recognized for doing a phenomenal job throughout the year. So I've decided that I'd like to give a special award to each of the teachers that I've had this year. Each one of them has spent so much extra time going above and beyond what is required for their job. I've benefited from everything from late night email replies to early morning meetings, which is way more than I'd ever be able to do in that position. For the awards, I've put them in order of the block schedule I had them in, because just like teachers can't have favorite students, I'll keep them guessing as to which of them is my secret favorite. And yes, I expect you to clap for each one. We've got to warm up for scholarship presentations. First up is Mr. Lonsby, my AP Calc teacher, with whom I present the most beautiful bald award. If I, had, if I had Mr. Bent this year, it would have been a close call with whom to give this award to, but that crisis has been averted. I don't know if he has some kind of deal with the devil, but Mr. Lonsby has managed to stay younger looking throughout this year than most of my grade. At least three of the five days, <laughs> At least three of the five days out of the week, I had to drag myself into math class at 7.35, but he always succeeded in raising the room and making it oftentimes the most high energy class of the day. Thank you for a great year, and congratulations again on becoming a father. <laughs> Next, we have Ms. Twombly, who helped me through my independent study of French literature this year. To her, I give the coolest life stories and anecdotes award. While I was unable to take one of Ms. Twombly's in-person classes, I will never forget some of the absolutely incredible stories she's told to me and others in her class. It really does make it easy to connect with your teachers when they tell you a story about the truly incredible life they lived. Thank you for teaching me these past four years. During C Block this year, I took AP Physics too. Yes, the name was as scary as the class. Mr. McCarthy, he's, he's right there. Mr. McCarthy taught it, and to him I bestowed the Body on the Ground, Head in the Clouds Award. Mr. McCarthy. <laughs> Mr. McCarthy somehow manages to take course content that can easily become incomprehensible and make it easy to process. All the while, he is completely showing me up with the cardigans he wears. I thought I had some, I thought I had some nice ones, but he's really putting me to shame. Thank you for teaching me that, that electric potential is somehow different from electric potential energy. <laughs> My D block this year was AP Literature, which is taught by Dr. McKay. I was a bit nervous going into it as the syllabus portrayed it as a rigorous course. While it was a challenge at times to manage the large workload, Dr. McKay has been a joy as a teacher. Even if at times we found her grading harsh, she has done incredibly well to prepare us for college and beyond. To her, unsurprisingly, I give the best hair award. <laughs> From day one, I've been amazed with her hair. If there is one question I haven't been able to answer this year, is that I can't figure out which conditioner she uses. <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for being as thoroughly professional as I am vain about appearance. I took philosophy this year, which was taught by Mr. Amuzini, who I have heard is not here tonight, which really hurts me, actually. <laughs> Genuinely one of the kindest people I've ever met. He has also helped me edit a full-length novel I've been working on. He's already a master of letters, and while my award likely pales in comparison, I bestow upon him the Things Can Be Two Things Award. Both a great teacher and a great friend, I hope that now since I've graduated, I can legally play video games with him. Thank you for enduring my philosophical semantics in class. <laughs> the final two blocks of my schedule were taught by the same teacher, Mrs. Pike. She's right there on the corner. <laughs> I really don't know where to begin when talking about her. Akin to a mother figure, she has been my teacher every year here at Rockport. 
Her love of both music and her students has been a shining light over the school for as long as I can remember. To her, I give the Syncopated Saint Award. Thank you for everything. You're probably wondering if I'm done now, that I've gone through all of my teachers. However, I have one more award to give, not to a teacher or other adult, but to a close friend who has single-handedly carried the entire grade on her back since the pandemic hit in 2020. She is the living embodiment of the strong community this town prides itself upon. Jillian Osmond, there she is. <laughs> Jillian Osmond has done twice as much work as any other member of our grade, from bringing in baked goods every day to staying up until 1 a.m. planning Spirit Week. That is an accurate time, by the way. We would truly be worse off without her. To her, I give the Atlas Award. I'm sure your new friends at Emmanuel will be just as thankful for you as we are. It looks like we've got some time to fill, so I'll ramble on for a bit longer if you don't mind. I've talked about teachers, friends. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, my parents, how could, how could I forget that? <laughs> Maybe I should say a few words about them. I think my mom is more excited about me graduating than I am. It, it hasn't quite hit me yet what it means to move on, but being up here right now is definitely helping it start to sink in. Any parents here can shout out if I'm mistaken, but I feel like one of the hardest parts of having kids is driving them around everywhere and keeping track of their increasingly difficult schedules. Thankfully, I had not one, but two parents who were committed to carting me around the map on a daily basis. They were relieved of their burden last July when I got my car, but with that responsibility, but with that, the responsibility was partly passed on to me, where I now have the infinite pleasure of driving my sister around. <laughs> While I may complain about doing chores and completing tasks around the house, it's that connectivity I'll likely miss when I move on to college living. It's considered the most fun time of our lives, and I'm beyond excited to be able to experience everything there is to offer, but I can't help but feel I'll miss doing laundry and dishes for my mom. So often, kids my age take our parents for granted, myself included at times. I get asked how I've been successful in school or how I've done so well in a class, and I, say, I usually say, I don't know, it just comes natural to me. In reality, it's because my mom has made me lunch every day for the past seven years. <laughs> and eating good food improves my brain health and cognition. Every single person sitting behind me has a parent, guardian, sibling, or friend that cares deeply about them and looks out for them. We can't take those people for granted, because soon we'll all be moving on, and by then it'll be too late. If there is a message to take away from this speech, it's to be grateful for those that are close to you and love you. We may fight and bicker and get annoyed with each other, but we'll always come back together. It's that kind of connection that forms a family and a larger community overall. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Amy Rose, principal of the high school, and it is my pleasure to formally begin the presentations of awards and scholarships. I'd like to thank the countless community organizations who took their time to review our applications and provide such generous financial contributions to our students and families. For such a small town, we are extremely fortunate to have such amazing community support. I am pleased to announce that every student who completed the application process for local scholarships will be receiving something tonight. On behalf of the over 70 local organizations who sponsor our local scholarships, the Rockport High School administration will present them to the students in their honor. Students, please stand to be recognized when you hear your name called. At this time, I would like to introduce our superintendent of schools, Mr. Lebo, to present our next scholarships. Before I do that, uh, I always try to have one last opportunity to address the class in person. I've known most of you since you were in second grade, so about that tall, and now look at you. And one of the things I do at graduation is always stare at the motto that's back here and wonder where it comes from and who selected it. And then I try to twist it to have some meaning for myself and hopefully for everybody else. But if you just read it as it is, if you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. If you don't step forward, you're always in the same place. And I'd change it, I'd keep the same opening line, 
If you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. If you don't try, the result is always failure. If you don't step up, we'll always be in the same place. So the only thing I would ask you, after 44 years being an educator and 10 years with you, is to step up. Step up, do what's right, treat people right, do what's right, and make our world a better place. And the beauty of Rockport, and I'm leaving school but not leaving the town, one of the ideas about Rockport is it's always been a coastal town. My great-great-grandfather went around that, uh, Thatcher's Island in a three-masted schooner in 1900 and was lost at sea at one point. But one of the things they always said to people who left when they left because it was a fearful time, to wish them as they headed toward the horizon, as their sail dipped down over the top, to wish them Godspeed. So I wish you, class of 2022, Godspeed. Make this world a better place. I have the pleasure of giving out the first scholarships. If you would uh, stand when your name is called. First one is Almond B. Cook Scholarship in the amount of $2,000 goes to Brody Baskin. The American Legion Auxiliary Unit 98 Scholarship for $500 goes to Emma Fuller. The American Legion Post-98 Scholarship for $1,000 goes to Samuel Finer. The American Postal Workers Union Scholarships, there are two of them in the amount of $400. The first goes to Patrick Morin. And the second to Dominic Reyes. The Arthur and Harriet Wright Memorial Scholarships, there are four of them in the amount of $445. The first goes to Hannah Ellis. The second to Roy Gebhardt IV. The third to Elizabeth Higgins. And the last one to Phoebe Twombly. The last scholarship is the Bank Gloucester Scholarship for $2,500. This year goes to Alba Aguera Williams. Good evening, my name is John Parisi and I'm the Athletic Director here at Rockport High School and I have the pleasure to give out a number of scholarships. With the first scholarship I need to put my crown on. It's the Eden G. McDonald Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Eve Dizio. Barbara Nelson Memorial Scholarships. There are two recipients. Please wait till the end for the applause. Samuel McDowell and Kylie Schrock. The Cape Ann Radio Club Scholarship to Casey Bolter, $250. Cape Ann Savings Bank Scholarships, there are three of them, Emma Fuller, Kaylee Parker, and Sarah Vanderpool. That's $1,500 each, by the way. The Casey Brooks Memorial Scholarship, to Renzo Paredes, $600.
the Cusick Hill Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Dominique Reyes. <laughs> Daughters of the American Revolution Scholarship in memory of Sally Costello in the amount of $500 to Yi Shai Hao. <laughs> Sorry, there's a second one of the Daughters of American Revolution Scholarship to Jillian Osmond, $2,000. <laughs> the Eaton Family Scholarship, Educational Foundation of Rockport. There are seven scholarships in the amount of $1,000. One to John Cahill, Baxter Chimmel, Sam Finer, Emma Fuller, Ben and Murdoch, Lucas Sapia, and Kylie Wheat. The Educational Foundation of Rockport has two more scholarships in the amount of $2,000. The first one goes to Lillian Morell. <laughs> and Leah Weinrich. <laughs> the Educational Foundation has five more scholarships in the amount of $1,500. Brody Baskin, Evan McCarthy, Renzo Paredes-Sanz, Dominique Reyes, and Sarah Vanderpool. <laughs> the Educational Foundation of Rockport Scholarships has two more in the amount of $1,000. Julia Drost and Yi Shai Hao. One more Educational Foundation scholarship in the amount of $500 to Bowen Slingloff. <laughs> the Ethel M. Hiltz Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $750, Kaylee Parker. <laughs> the First Baptist Church of Rockport is giving out two $500 scholarships. Julia Drost and Lillian Morell. <laughs> the Friends of Hellebuck Point State Park Scholarship is giving out $500 to Talia McWilliams. <laughs> the Friends of Rockport Athletics is giving out eight scholarships this year in the amount of $500. Alexis Berglin, John Cahill, Will Cahill, Edward Chimmel, Talia McWilliams, Dan Mers, Kylie Schrock, and Bowen Slingliff. Good evening. My name is Anne Marie Luster, and I am the Dean of Students here at the high school, and I have the pleasure of awarding the next scholarships. The first one is the Global Studies Scholarship in the amount of $500 to Benin Murdoch. <laughs> the Gloucester Lodge 892. This ELK scholarship is in the amount of $1,250 to Scott Kylie Schrock. <laughs> the Greater Cape Ann Chamber of Commerce Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 is awarded to Mia McCarthy. The Harry J. and Grace M. West Memorial Scholarships, there are four, all in the amount of $1,400. These are awarded to Connor Dench, Colby Kelly, Nora Rockwell, and Shayla Schaefer. <laughs> the Houlihan Memorial Scholarship, there are two, both in the amount of $500. These are awarded to Casey Bolter and Nicholas Leahy. <laughs> the 
The Isabel Babson Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $5,000 is awarded tonight to Patrick Morin. The Jade Donaldson Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Will Cahill. The Jeffrey Dietrich Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $5,000 tonight is awarded to Sam Finer. The Joan Martin Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Jillian Osman. The Johnson Family Memorial Scholarship care of the Educational Foundation. They are awarding three this evening in the amount of $500. These are awarded to Juliana De Silva, Patrick Morin, and Eli Mueller. <laughs> the Joyce M. Lacido Memorial Scholarships. This evening there are four in the amount of $300 are awarded to Julia Drost, Dan Mers, Kylie Schrock, and Kylie Wheat. The Karen Rowe Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 goes to Kaylee Parker. The Catherine Gross Nut Brown Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Jillian Osman. The Laura William Waddleton Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 is awarded to Edward Schimmel. <laughs> the Rockport Educational Support Staff Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Jillian Osman. The Rockport Firemen's Association Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Patrick Morin. The Rockport Garden Club Scholarships, there are two this evening, each in the amount of $2,000, are awarded to Talia McWilliams and Lillian Morrell. This evening there are Five, I think five, <laughs> Rockport High School Alumni Scholarship um, Awards in memory of Cynthia Peckham. These are in the amount of $1,000. They are awarded to John Cahill, William Cahill, Ishai Howe, Lillian Morell, and Leah Weinrich. <laughs> the Rockport High School Alumni Scholarship in memory of Everett Snap Silva in the amount of $2,500 is awarded to Evan McCarthy. The Rockport High School Alumni Scholarship in memory of Mary Salo Balzarini. There are two this evening, both in the amount of $2,500, awarded to Michelle Allen and Patrick Morin. There are eight Rockport High School alumni scholarships this evening also in the amount of 2,500. These are awarded to Molly Ambrose, Brody Baskin, Edward Schimmel, Julia Drost, Dan Mers, Jillian Osman, Lucas Sapia, and Kylie Schrock. <laughs> the Rockport High School Drama Scholarship in memory of Evelyn De La Barre in the amount of $200 is awarded to Jillian Osman. The Rockport Men's Softball League Scholarship in the amount of $350 is also awarded to Jillian Osman. The Rockport Parent Teacher Organization is awarding three scholarships tonight, each in the amount of $800, and these are awarded to Molly Ambrose, Julia Drost, and Patrick Morin. <laughs> the 
The last scholarships that I will be um, awarding this evening are the Rockport Police Association scholarships. There are two, each in the amount of $2,000. These are awarded to Jillian Osman and Leah Weinrich. All right, I'm gonna take us home here with these. Uh, Lewis and Mary Dunton Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 to Molly Ambrose. The Lisa Leahy Memorial Scholarship, care of the Rockport PTO for $800, goes to her son, Nicholas Leahy. <laughs> the McDowell Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $300 goes to Sam McDowell. The Mary T. Lane Foundation has several scholarships. There are first three in the amount of $5,000, and those go to Juliana De Silva, Julia Drost, and Kaylee Parker. The Mary T. Lane Foundation gave two more in the amount of $10,000 to Eben McCarthy and Jillian Osmond. And just when you thought that was big, the Mary T. Lane Foundation also gave two scholarships in the amount of $15,000, and those go to Brody Baskin and Dominique Reyes. <laughs> the Matthew Matt Tanson Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $300 goes to William Cahill. The Melissa Tingley Memorial Scholarship, care of the Educational Foundation for Rockport, in the amount of $1,000, goes to Jillian Osman. <laughs> the Mr. and Mrs. L. Dexter Woodman Scholarship, in the amount of $3,000, goes to Brody Baskin. The Parish Scholarship in the amount of $300 goes to Patrick Morin. The Patricia Fears Carrico Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 goes to Samuel McDowell. Peter F. Bruni Memorial Scholarship. There are two in the amount of $500 each. Go to John and Will Cahill. <laughs> the Pigeon Cove Circles Scholarship. There are two in the amount of $500. Goes to Brody Baskin and Patrick Morin. The Rockport High School Principal Scholarship, there are two in the amount of $200. They go to Eli Mueller and Samuel McDowell. <laughs> the Rockport Art Association and Museum, Andrew Barrett Shaw Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 goes to Eve Dizio. The Rockport Art Association and Museum Paul Strizik Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 goes to Eve Dizio. <laughs> and there's another Rockport Art Association Scholarship for the Zygmunt Jankowski Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500, and that also goes to Eve Dizio. <laughs> The Rockport Rotary Club gives five scholarships in the amount of $1,000 each. They go to Molly Ambrose, Eben McCarthy, Daniel Mers, Patrick Morin, and Jillian Osman. The 
Rockport Teachers Association, two scholarships in the amount of $800 each to Talia McWilliams and Phoebe Twombly. <laughs> Rockport Youth Soccer, there are three in the amount of $500 to Talia McWilliams, Daniel Mers, and Benin Murdoch. The Ron Kelleher Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Eve Dizio. The Rosenfield Halperin Family Scholarship in the amount of $1,500 to Jonah Copeland. The Sandy Bay Yacht Club Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Talia McWilliams. The Sheldon Knowles Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 to Patrick Morin. The Spiron Lodge gives four scholarships in the amount of $500 each to Alexis Berglund, Julia Drost, Daniel Mers, and Patrick Morin. St. Mary's Episcopal Church gives two scholarships in the amount of $500 each to Alexis Berglund and Bowen Slingloff. The Sue Thurston Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 goes to Carson Riley. The Catherine and Mary Manzarini's scholarship, there are six in the amount of $4,200 each to Edward Schimmel, Juliana De Silva, Julia Drost, Talia McWilliams, Jillian Osman, and Dominique Reyes. <laughs> the Wallace Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $300 to Jonah Copeland. And I am on my final two, so we've almost made it. Um, the Cape Ann Fund for high school graduates, there are two in the amount of $10,000 each, and they go to Hannah Ellis and Dominique Reyes. And the final scholarship I will present this evening is the Windrift Charities Academic Award for $5,000 to Mia McCarthy. This small, small community of Rockport donated over $260,000, which I get choked up about, to our kids. So thank you so much to the community for your generous support. And at this time, we will now begin the presentation of diplomas. Emma Grace Fuller. <laughs> Lucas Lewis Sapia. <laughs> Eben Carl McCarthy. Eli Elliot Mueller. Bro 
Brody, James Baskin. <laughs> Leah Jane Sheehan Weinrich. <laughs> Jillian Rose Osmond. Alexis McLean Berglund. <laughs> Elizabeth Sears Higgins. <laughs> Bowen Charles Slingliff. Benin James Murdoch. Job, Kaylee Rose Parker. <laughs> Hannah Rose Ellis. Alba Aguirre Williams. Connor Kenneth Dench. Yishai Nock Shown How. <laughs> Jonah Mark Copeland Lillian Grace Morell Dominique Jada Reyes. <laughs> Julia Rebecca Drost. John Roland Cahill. Lewis Savlin. Griffin Sumba Wright. <laughs> Kelsey Jean Anderson. Phoebe May McNiff Twombly. <laughs> Shayla Shin Wan Schaefer.
Carson, Raymond, Riley. Mia Rose McCarthy. Nora Winchell Rockwell. Sarah Patricia Vanderpool. Nathan James Hadala. <laughs> Samuel Cole Biner. <laughs> Roy Joseph Gebhardt the fourth. William Wells Cahill. <laughs> Juliana Bell De Silva. <laughs> and Patrick James Morin. Jake Robert Goodwin. Matthew Robert Tucker. Duncan Alexander Malcolmson. Kylie May Schrock. <laughs> Michelle Beenstra Allen. <laughs> Gabriella Marina Kelleher. Samuel Richard McDowell. <laughs> Eve Dizio. <laughs> Eric Gabriel Vanderberg. James Brian Jarrett. Yeah. 
Colby, Robert, Kelly. Sven, Thomas, Vanderberg. Shannon, Elizabeth, Whalen. <laughs> Edward, Baxter, Schimmel. <laughs> Leticia, Paulino. Molly, Elizabeth, Ambrose. <laughs> Kylie, Mary, Wheat. <laughs> Talia, Therese, McWilliams. Daniel, Allen, Mers. Nicholas, Dean, Leahy. Renzo, Nicholas, Paredes, Sands. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2022. Ms. Rose, is it, an honor? it is an honor for me as the class of 2022 treasurer to present you with a class gift to Rockport High School community. On behalf of the entire class, we thank the Rockport faculty, staff, students, and larger community for the experience we've shared over these past four years. The class of 2022 will donate their remaining class balance to the class of 2023 to help fund future events for our school. At this time, I will carry out my last official duty as the president of the Rockport High School class of 2022. It is a tradition here at Rockport High School for the graduating senior class president to pass the gavel, a symbol of leadership, to the president-elect of next year's senior class. It is with pride and pleasure I symbolically present this gavel to Sophia Lucido. Best wishes to you, Sophia, and the class of 2023.
I just want to say thank you to everyone here today. We're so excited to play for you all to wrap up such a special evening. To Mr. Lebo, it's been such a pleasure having you as superintendent. We're so honored to be the last senior class that you see off into the world before your retirement. And we're so lucky to have you here. This song seems to put words to how I feel about everyone I've met at Rockport. It's really been such a great 12 years. Lastly, I just want to recognize our classmate, Eden, who is always in our hearts. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so before I begin my formal closing, I'd like to take the time to thank a few people. I, as always, have a very long list of people to thank, so if you could hold your applause until the end, I would appreciate it. First and foremost, the faculty and staff of Rockport High School who have supported our students throughout their four-year experience, as well as the class advisors, Ms. Sh Ms. Shram and Mr. Vent, Ms. Luster and Ms. Lucido, the Guidance Department, Ms. Rich, Ms. Price, and Ms. Fabruska, Kurt Keating and the maintenance staff, Anthony Presti Giovanni, Patty Pike, Nathan Cohen, Mike Montgomery, Zach O'Brien, and the many others who assisted in the planning of this ceremony. It truly takes a village. The local community for the overwhelming financial support allotted to our students through local scholarships, the school committee, the selectmen, the town administrator, the Rockport Police Department, 
and the greater community for their continued support and investment in the Rockport Public Schools. A special thank you to Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Robert Lebo, as he sails off into retirement at the end of the year. And of course, the students and families for everything you have contributed to our school and community. To the families I've had the privilege of working alongside for many years now, several through more than one child, you've become like family to us as we've navigated the high school highs and lows together. I wanna thank you. Your ongoing partnership with the schools has solidified the family we have sought to create and the relationships we have built will last a lifetime. Your inboxes and calendars are about to become lighter without the weekly emails, games, plays, concerts, and other events you've dedicated your lives to. Although many of you are not done yet because we do have four home postseason games for spring sports this week. Go Vikings. <laughs> Please know that your countless contributions and personal presence at these events and anything related to the school have made a huge difference, not only in the lives of your own children, but in the lives of all of us. So thank you. Now comes the emotional part, which everybody knows I'm Okay. <laughs> to honor the class of 2022, I first want to start with my fashion choice. Tonight, under this gown, I wear a pretty average blue, black, and white dress that will forever hold a special place in my heart because of the words of one child. And tonight, I walk across the stage to deliver a message of kindness and hope because of the words of the 58 students graduating tonight. Words that may have seemed large or small at the time, but they were spoken, and from them, I gained hope. It would be impossible to capture the power of words specifically for 59 students in one speech, yet the funny thing that happens over the course of four years is that this random sampling of students with their unique backgrounds and experiences are thrown together and then ingrained to become smaller pieces of a much bigger puzzle. Together with their quirky and differing ways, they serve to complement one another, challenge each other, and then somehow beautifully provide perspective to one another that gifts understanding, trust, and love one could never imagine at the start of this journey. I will seek to give the class some examples of just how powerful their collective voice has been in hopes that my message will resonate with them as they leave the doors of Rockport High School and enter the real world, as we call it. Freshman year seemed so long ago, back before COVID, during a time when we couldn't have possibly imagined what the next four years would bring. I fondly remember visiting Mr. Sclafani's classes regularly, being invited to participate in weekly Cookie Tuesdays, and quickly learning two important lessons about this class. One, they like to bake, and two, they are planners. I remember asking to get on the schedule to participate. How fun is this, I thought. It was October, November when I asked to be added to the list, and about a week later, they got back to me with a confirmation for a date in April. Wow, I thought, I better add that to the Google Calendar. Uh, fast forward to the spring of 2020, when things took a solid turn for the worse, and my ongoing fear of losing the culture we had worked so hard to create seemed palpable. Except for all the good that seemingly rose to the surface. The class of 2022 were only sophomores, yet they came out in droves to offer support. I, as I'm sure your teachers do, remember each act of outreach individually because it seemingly came at a time when we needed it most. I was determined to continue to run a virtual weekly assembly in hopes to continue some sense of normalcy and connection beyond the classroom. Even though it was completely optional, these kids showed up. They offered words of encouragement, music, and so much joy. How could they possibly know how much it meant at the time? The spring of 2021 brought us from a mainly hybrid and remote form of learning to the hope of a few normal weeks. I remember gathering the entire school in the auditorium and one member of this current class standing, impromptu, to publicly say thank you to teachers and staff. I thought how empathetic this was, especially at a time when students had also lost so much. And then tragedy struck with the loss of one of our classmates, Eden McDonald, 
whose parents and family are here with us tonight. The hole that was left in our hearts was beyond anything imaginable. Yet where there once was a hole, there now is more heart. Our class has forever changed in June of 2021 with the loss of Eden, but the light that came changed all of us. Over the past four years, this class has suffered love and loss together. They have grown to understand the complexities of who they are and embrace their place in the larger picture of their class. Together, they have worked to inspire change through education, seeking first to understand and then to be understood. Just last week, I met with the students attending the prom to go over the expectations in advance of the event. As I always do, I emphasize the importance of healthy decisions, seeking to focus on the celebration of the time and reinforcing that the choices we make can quickly change our circumstances. After the meeting, one member of the class of 2022 stuck behind and said, Miss Rose, don't worry, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> yes, I know you will, but I want so much for you to find happiness in this world. I want so much for you to see what we see, and this is the genuine power you have to change the world by simply continuing to be you. To promote kindness and love in a world that can, at times, foster hate and division. If you remember nothing else, always remember the power of your words. Your words and actions have changed my life. And this average dress I spoke about at the beginning of my speech has become one of my most cherished possessions because of the words Eden spoke and the power she gave it. Class of 2022, your subtle and not so subtle words and actions through your academic pursuits, athletic endeavors, musical passions, theatrical performances, and your seemingly average day-to-day -day interactions have shown the Rockport High School faculty and the greater community what it means to be a family, what it means to inspire greatness. For that, I hope you know that your life has already served to make a difference. Go on to do great things, invest in your passions, and never ever give up on your dreams. At this time, I will conclude the formal part of the Class of 2022 graduation ceremony. Please join us for a reception outside in front of the school directly following the ceremony. And graduates and families, please take your lawn signs with you before you leave the reception tonight. A huge thank you for all of you for participating in this once of a lifetime event. And a huge personal thank you for sharing your children with me and this community. Thank you.